I'd started my medical training and was um, planning to continue a, a fellowship in gastroenterology a year later, but I had a year without any specific plan, so one of my professors suggested that I try research for a year. So I came to Rockefeller to work in the laboratory of Mary Jean Creek, who studies addiction. I became, with that, very interested in how molecules might control a, a affect and behavior. And so uh, I then decided not to return to my medical studies and instead get a PhD at Rockefeller. And while I was a graduate student, we cloned the CCK gene and showed that it mapped to the wrong chromosome to BOB. It mapped to chromosome 9, we learned. Um, and so if it wasn't CCK, it raised the question as to what the defective gene was in OB mice. And so in 1986, when I started my own lab, we set out to try to answer that question. So when we set out to clone the gene in 1986, it was with the idea that it would be possible, but that, that it might also take some further technological developments. Um, and as time went by, it, it, it became evident to me that the estimates for how long it would take were a little bit um, well, we had underestimated how long it would take, but fortunately, uh, we eventually did find the gene, as it turns out, eight years later. Once one has the genetically linked markers, the path goes something like this. You clone all the surrounding DNA, you look for genes in that region using a variety of methods, and then try to ask, are any of these genes defective in OB mice? And then one day on a, f I don't know, one during a week, a, a Friday or a or whatever, a gene appeared in the right region that was fat-specific. And so the next question was, is this fat-specific gene altered in each of the available strains of OB? And indeed, the gene was defective in both strains, and that was how we realized we had identified the OB gene. Uh, and moreover, some of the preliminary evidence indicated that this gene was likely to be under feedback control and secreted, uh, which was consistent with the possibility that it was going to encode a hormone, which we now know it does. Yeah, I mean, I thought this was going to be important. Uh, that Obviously, I wouldn't have worked on it that long and hard if I didn't think it would be, but I was absolutely convinced it, it would be. There was, you know, nothing particularly glamorous about the technical exercise. What was really exciting was getting to the finish line. <laughs>